Hey guys, how y'all doing today? This is Thunder1773. I'm going to do a quick little comparison between the PlayStation.com and Xbox.com. Um, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you right now that I have both systems. Uh, if you watched my other PS3 versus Xbox comparison, I showed you the video of my room and it's got my two systems. Um, I don't I'm not biased towards either one, but either way, I'm just here to do a little comparison on the websites. Um, as I said before in the PS2 versus 360 video, PS3 was dominating the 360, and it's going to surpass it even more in the future. But uh, right now, we'll check out the website, see how that pans out. Alright, first one, we'll start off with the uh, xbox.com. <coughs> first, right when the uh, screen pops up, it has three little tabs on the side you can click through to tell you the uh, upcoming events and games. Uh, you can go under the little tabs, check, about, check out the new news. Under games, you can see the game catalog, there are games out, upcoming games, you can find out about Xbox Live. Um, find some tips and tricks under there, the Platinum Hits. You can find out all the accessories, how to get them. talks about Xbox Live, you know, any troubleshooting and all that. Get some support and community. Uh, real quick, we'll go to upcoming games. This is what I want to touch most on. Um, the upcoming games, this site, or this page right here, is awesome. It shows, um, eight coming soon right here up top and it has a list of more coming soon games right here and it tells you also in the works so eventually these games right here will be put up right here and then it has the recent l releases so as they've been released they'll pop over here now if you want to see a game we'll go to uh, Modern Warfare 2 since that's the big hit um, It'll have screenshots and trailers and gameplay video if they have it. Release dates, console, what type it is, developer and publisher, box art. And you can go into some forums. And usually it'll have some other comments and stuff if they have more info on it. Or you can go back and you can check out the we'll check out Ghostbusters ones that are released. Here, you know, you can get a demo of it, tons of pictures. And uh, right here, tells you if you can play it online, uh, surround sound stuff, voice supported. And here's other features that a bunch of it tells you. You can go to the forums here. Tells you it's released already and what the price is. Now, uh, real quick, we'll jump over to the PlayStation website. Uh, right here, the home page you get. It's also telling you about upcoming games. It's also telling you about the PlayStation 2, PSP, and 3, or PSP and PS3, and PlayStation Network. Uh, so we'll we'll just go to PS3 since this is what the reviews on. So once you get here, you have your system, accessories, features, games, and support. Right here, you can check out the system update that they had like a month or so ago. I can't even remember when it was. It, shoot, it's probably more than a month ago. Uh, it'll tell you what they did in the update, which is a good thing. Uh, easy to find. Scroll down, you can see some games. Show some accessories and the PlayStation Network. Now, we'll her go up here to games. We'll get ready to go to the upcoming games since we just checked that out in the Xbox 360. Um, shows the top games first. You can go through and look at the top games. Now, upcoming games. There are two. Now, I, I know there's a lot more PS3 games about to come out. But this only shows two. So, they're lacking here. I'm... Um, this website is upsetting. They need, they honestly need to be more like Xbox around this one. They need to show, yeah, they do show 
new releases, which is the same thing, but they need to put it all together like this. This is well laid out, easy to find, you don't have to go through a couple different screens. And it really doesn't even show the box art, it just... Oh, try Harry Potter here. Uh, you have to like go in and try and find everything that you want to find. Um, it's not accessible like this, very simple, quick, easy. There, we clicked Harry, we had to go through a couple things, clicked Harry Potter, box art, you can buy it now. Shows a release date, a little bit harder to find, had to look for it a couple seconds. Some screenshots, and it has some reviews. Now, that's about the only good thing they have right here, is it shows the user reviews right on the page with this. And, uh, we'll go back, we'll try and find a quick, another game real quick. Here, we'll do Fight Night Round 4. Uh, get in here. Alright, well, this does so max players and players. Max players online, so it kind of hints that it's an online game, but they need to be more specific like this. Here, we'll click this Fight Night Round 4. Right there. Everything you need to know. PlayStation 3 needs to get that right here and it needs to be easier to get to they're lacking a little bit I know when I first hopped on the PlayStation 3 website it had a bunch of upcoming games but soon the games came out and now they're down this they need to update this this has been like this for a while now and that's where they're falling behind they got a great system out now it's about to uh... well it is passing the 360 but they just need to work on their website right now like hands down Xbox 360 their websites down packed like they know they got what's good what's easy to use they, they got by far the better website as of right now so hopefully PlayStation 3 gets on the ball gets to work on all this stuff maybe get some updates on it finally but uh that's all I have for today so like I said Xbox 360 they have the website so right now it's uh, one to one. Xbox 360 has the website, but PlayStation 3 has the console. All right, so be sure to subscribe and rate, and have a nice day, guys.